Hello, and welcome to Lesson 1 of this Introduction to Differential Equations with Wolfram U. Thank you for joining us on this tour through the theory of differential equations. We will begin this course at the very beginning by defining what a differential equation is and where they come up in the real world. Our attention will then turn towards the methods to solve differential equations and initial value problems. The theory of solving first and second order differential equations will then be covered extensively. The course will conclude with a look at systems of differential equations. Let's get started by first taking a look at an overview of differential equations. We will begin our discussion about differential equations by considering first the algebraic equation here. This equation represents a relationship between unknown values. In this case, the unknown value of x and the square of that value. Now, consider the differential equation here. This equation represents a relationship between an unknown function and its derivative. In this case, the unknown function is the function y of x, and its derivative is given by y prime of x. There are some key questions to consider when encountering such equations. In particular, does the equation have a solution? Not all equations have a solution, so recognizing this right away can be very beneficial. Secondly, if the differential equation does have a solution, what is the behavior of the solution? We will investigate methods throughout this course to solve differential equations in order to answer questions such as these. Differential equations can appear in the models describing many physical situations. For example, suppose we have a tank of water that is leaking. We can identify this as a differential relationship because the volume of water is changing with respect to time. When encountered with such a system, the key questions to ask are, for one, can this situation be described using differential equations? Such a differential equation to model this situation would be an equation involving the function describing the volume of water in the tank, as well as derivatives of that function with respect to time, to model the amount of water that is flowing into and out of the tank. Second, it is important to ask if it is possible to determine when the tank is empty. The second question will involve finding the solution to the differential equation for this model, since if we have a function giving the volume of water in the tank as a function of time, we can solve that equation for when the volume of water is zero. We mentioned that differential equations involve equations of functions and their derivatives, so we should quickly review the derivative and equations involving derivatives. A derivative of a function describes the instantaneous rate of change of that function. For example, the derivative of the polynomial here can be calculated to be 2 times x plus 4. This result can be obtained using the power rule for derivatives, or more easily using the Wolfram language d function. The quadratic polynomial above can then be said to be a solution to the differential equation here, since the derivative of that function equals 2 times x plus 4. However, it is important to note that x squared plus 4x plus 4 is not the only solution to this differential equation. The full set of solutions is found to be x squared plus 4x plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant. As a result, there are an infinite number of solutions to this differential equation, each with a different value for c. For example, using c equals 10, we get the same result for the derivative. This is because the derivative of a constant is zero, so no matter what constant we use for c, the derivative of that constant will be zero and it will not contribute to the result. We will see later that the general solution to differential equations will involve these arbitrary constants. If we know an initial condition on the function, such as the value of the solution at the origin, we can determine the value for the constant. For example, if we knew that the solution has to equal 4 at x equals 0, 
then we can constrain the value of c to be 4, since only that value of c will make the solution equal 4 at x equals 0. Many of the great mathematicians of the past few centuries have contributed to the theory of differential equations. In the 17th century, Newton completed his book, The Method of Flux Ions in Infinite Series, where the word flux ion was Newton's term for the derivative. Towards the end of the 17th century, Bernoulli proposed the Brachistochrone problem. This problem involves finding the solution a bead will take to move between two points under the influence of gravity in the least amount of time. Newton used the recently developed theory of calculus to solve the problem. In the 18th century, Euler established powerful methods for finding the solutions to certain types of differential equations. We will discuss the methods of Euler towards the beginning of this course. Later in the 18th century, Laplace studied integral transforms and how to use them to cast a differential equation into an algebraic equation involving the transform. In this course, we will make extensive use of the so-called Laplace transform to solve a wide range of differential equations. Differential equations appear in many systems in the real world spanning numerous fields of study. As a few examples, physicists describe the fundamental laws of nature using differential equations. For example, Newton's laws to describe classical mechanics and Schrodinger's equation to describe quantum mechanics are both differential equations. Engineers model heat flow as well as fluid flow in nozzles and pipes, electric current in circuits, and many other phenomena by using differential equations. Economists use differential equations to model and make predictions about the stock market while the population dynamics of various animal species around the world are modeled by biologists using differential equations. These are only a few of the examples where differential equations come up in real-world applications. It is reasonable to ask why one would be interested in studying differential equations. As we mentioned on the previous slide, differential equations have a broad application in the real world across many areas of study. It is for this reason that differential equations are an essential course for many degrees in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These types of degrees are often called STEM degrees. Aside from having practical applications in the real world, the mastery of differential equations is a major intellectual achievement. This course will provide a thorough introduction to differential equations. The course is organized in three broad categories. We will first discuss differential equations in general, as well as the concept of direction fields. We will then move on to more complex differential equations and make extensive use of the Laplace transform. Finally, we will take a look at the theory of solving certain systems of differential equations. The lessons will be accompanied by problem sessions and quizzes to reinforce the information that has been learned. We will focus on understanding the methods in the theory, but we will not dwell on formal proofs. The main goal is to show that working with and solving differential equations can in fact be very easy. This Wolfram U course on differential equations is useful for many people. For example, this course is an excellent place for beginners who want to learn about differential equations for the first time. That being said, Professionals who already know differential equations would benefit from this course as well as it provides them with a thorough refresher of the theory of differential equations. Finally, this course is really suited for anyone who wants to know how the Wolfram language can be a useful tool when working with and solving differential equations. In this course, we will learn a great deal about differential equations, which are the study of functions and their derivatives. Such equations have been studied by some of the great mathematicians of the recent centuries. 
Differential equations are also an essential tool for students of many STEM fields and have numerous applications across a broad range of disciplines. In the next lesson, the course will formally begin with a discussion about direction fields.